Did artificial intelligence just take my job? Seriously, and what is this artificial intelligence? Let's figure that out. Hi everyone, my name is Karthik Kadamburli, serial entrepreneur and tech maverick. Well, the direct answer to this question of AI taking up our job is yes. We are not realizing as this is a very gradual process and we do not see any machines or robots anywhere around us crossing our paths. Machines are indeed working silently in our daily lives and taking away our jobs. Machines that are programmed to do mundane and repetitive jobs. Let me cite with two ex one or two examples. What happened to the person at the counter at the toll booth? Machines are authenticating via a camera that is checking all the vehicles at the toll booth and debiting the amount from our bank account. And there goes the job of our toll booth operator. Soon when we walk into an airport, and this is a second example, we would not find the airline staff standing at the entrance to check our ticket and verify our identity. We may just have to verify our identity to a machine with our thumb impression and gate would open automatically for us. A pilot of this kind has been conducted at the Hyderabad airport. Well, that goes a job of one of the airport staff. And if the professionals amongst us heaved a sigh of relief as the jobs that went seemingly are that of more physical jobs, then let me dispel that comfort. Yes, the job of the professional is also under threat. Let's take some more examples. Let me sh share some more that are already functioning and some that are on the anvil. Number one, today there are robotic surgeries being conducted by machines mostly of the minimally invasive kind and there are many more advancements in both surgery, early detection and better prognosis and diagnosis and thereby it's very important for surgeons to potentially save their jobs by upgrading themselves. Metro rails in many cities, which is the second example, in the world, including in this city where I am speaking from, Singapore, that are operating without drivers and these are run by machines. Third example is there are so many driverless cars in some cities which means our taxi driver in the not so foreseeable future will lose his jobs. Fourth example, couriers are being delivered via drones. So your home delivery of post courier online e-commerce sites of will all be delivered through drones and our delivery executives job will also go. Today, more than ever, automation is taking over and conducting complex computations that would once be done by a lot of men and that are being handled by computers now. At the core of most of this function is artificial intelligence and machine learning. These are terms that are being used very loosely. Let me try and mystify these terms. First, let us understand artificial intelligence. These are made of two words artificial and intelligence. The word artificial means that which is man-made and the second word is intelligence which means the capability to think. So loosely defined artificial intelligence is intelligence that is created by human beings and fed into a computer system. Simply put this is a set of instructions that is fed into the computer and the computer would follow this instruction every time the set, set of rules are met. Let me explain artificial intelligence with a simple example. If a computer is fitted with a camera and it is kept at the entrance of a mall, the camera is scanning every visitor. The computer is set with a rule that every time the camera detects a person with a backpack, an alarm should ring. Thus, the intelligence here is artificially infused into the camera with a set of rules. Now, this can be made a little more complicated, like if another rule is set that the alarm should ring only if the detected person is also taller than six feet. And instead of the backpack, we can change this to any other attribute, some, let's say, in red shirt or some in, let's say, of long hair. Now, this is a great example of how machines are replacing our security guards and how AI works. That was artificial intelligence, AI for short. Now, let us see what is 
machine learning and how it works. Firstly, ML is a short form for machine learning and is a branch of artificial intelligence. Let us experience machine learning with the example of the navigation app that we use on our mobile when traveling from place to place. Let's assume in the beginning when the app developer built the app would have fed the fastest route from bus stand of town A to the bus stand of town B and let us name this road AB road. In that case, when you open your maps to help you navigate on your mobile, it will show this route. Now let us add one more element to it. Now the ad developer adds many smaller villages that lie between town A and town B and adds smaller alternate smaller routes that navigate through these villages instead of taking the main AB route, which was the main route between town A and town B. What the app does is every time a vehicle that is using the same app when traveling in and around town A and town B and around the villages, it is maintaining a record of speed at which the vehicles are traveling. How long a vehicle is waiting at the signal, how many vehicles are on a specific road, etc. This information is collected by the app and let us refer to this app for the time being as a machine which learns from this real-time information available with it. At this time, suppose there is a driver who wishes to go from town A to town B and is checking for the fastest route. What happens is the information that is already collected from all these smaller routes is also available with the app on the server which has been uploaded from the internet. Suppose there is an accident at this time on the main road, AB road, and thus a traffic jam, which means the machine learns from all the real-time data available, received from all the vehicles on AB road and the pocket roads and the village roads. Thus, based on this data bank of all vehicles on the road and the speed at which all the vehicles are moving on the roads in the computer, the computer then checks for alternate routes and then throws up an alternate route through the villages which normally is slower, slower. But today it is faster than the main route because of the traffic condition on the main AB route. This process, this whole process of finding an alternate route was conducted by the computer after it learnt from all the data that was stored from all vehicles or sources from where data is collected. This process is called machine learning wherein the machine is learning and then taking action based on the learned data. Artificial intelligence today is at the heart of stock trading or reading x-ray and MRI reading. It is at the heart of predicting weather or predicting the possibility of the spread of a pandemic. Today AI is being used in almost every job function. Now that we understand AI and ML a little more than before, let us see how we can save our jobs from these machines. Data is at the core of machine learning and thereby in every job function, if someone is presented with more data sets and analysis, it would be easier for professionals to use the data to conduct the job better. So as professionals, we should be ahead of the learning curve and learning more about how to manage data that is thrown in to us from these machines. And we would be able to do a more efficient and productive job. And that is the only way we stay ahead of the job and not lose it. Gone are the days of one-time employment. Jobs that are repetitive will be replaced by machines that can automate and would perform more efficiently and without getting tired. Now, what does that mean for us humans? We need to learn to A, operate these machines and B, work to manage them. When it comes to AI ML integration, there are two kinds of jobs. One, who's creating the artificial intelligence at the back end. Let us call him a software engineer. And here, of course, we need tons of software engineer to build AI for all the job functions in the world and in all the industry verticals. The other, let us call him artificial intelligence operator. Just as when we use a computer, we are not manufacturing it, we are just operating it. 
almost all of us in the work world will have to learn to operate some or many of them in order to hold on to our jobs. And how are we going to do such operations of AI and take advantage of AI and ML and not be scared of it? Let's take some more examples. Number one, let's take an example in healthcare. Now, disease identification and diagnosis of ailments is at the forefront of ML research in medicine. Clinical support workforce and frontline healthcare professionals can be trained faster and using AI, they can be deployed in larger numbers in the world where there is acute shortage of doctors and medical team. AI supported nurses and lab technicians would take the help of AI and ML, which would sift through data of millions of patients and recommend medicines based on diagnosis of non-critical ailments supported by remote doctors. And they can also help in early detection of ailments in old age care. Thus, nurses should be trained on handling data thrown in by AI and ML in addition to their profession. Let's take another example, number two, in the legal world. To a lawyer, AI can be a friendly advisor who can sift through scores of similar cases in seconds and recommend how to build on a case based on these recommendations. Thus, lawyers should be trained on handling data thrown in by AI and ML in addition to their profession. Let's take a third example in the financial advisory job. This is one segment which is very highly managed by AI and ML machines. Already major trades on stock exchanges are done by machines and not by human beings. And so are a lot of modeling around policy decisions which define how much should be the interest rate for home loans, what should be the inflation rate, etc. The computer looks at all past data and can make fairly accurate prediction. Lawyers, doctors, engineers, nurses, financial professionals and almost any other profession should upgrade themselves and know how to interact with machines apart from the knowledge of their respective domain. Basically, any repetitive job, however complex they may be, will be replicated by machines. And wherever there is ingenuity and creativity and deep innovation involved, that surely needs the complexity of the human brain, human brain and our endeavor should be shift, should be to shift and improve our skills to adopt and adapt such complex skills, which can help them, the computers, to conduct mundane and repetitive jobs. Humans would continue to be the brain behind these machines and computers. And it is for us to master the technology to be ahead so that we have better jobs and not be in a situation where we are stuck at a job where which machines can replicate easily. Now, where do I learn about machines and healthcare, artificial in finance, artificial intelligence in real estate, AI in retail, etc. How do I learn that? The internet. The internet is the grandmother of all libraries where membership is free. Keep on reading and doing self-learning of various types of courses. There are tons of sites which give you details. How do you know? How do you get to know these sites? Simply type free online courses on healthcare or retail on and AI. If you do not still arrive at these, then simply type online courses on technology and one site would lead to another. There's no easy way to success. You have to put in the hard work. If you're still a student, you have to keep on reading that interests you. There is a study that has come out which says that by the year 2030, 50% of all jobs will be extinct, which means the students who are already in college right now will not be doing the job that they are studying right for right now. Or for working professionals like us, we will not be able to continue with the job that we have as 50% of all the jobs that are currently available will be extinct. And if we don't upgrade ourselves, we'll be jobless. I will recommend a free course which would give enough insight from the internet and if only one needs to get deeper experience, need one go for a paid course. Summing up, there are much more deeper aspects like beyond AI, ML, etc. That is deep learning, etc. Which is an item for discussion at a later date when we can all discuss data science, big data and many such items that are impacting our daily lives. Till then, 
happy artificially intelligence this is goodbye from kartik kadampulli signing off from the ai enabled city of singapore thank you very much please like share and subscribe stay safe and be smart thank you